Hi, I'm Lina, and you're watching uh, Marvel's Designer Tool by Tool Tutorial uh, Part 7. Today, uh, I'm going to explain uh, three tools in 2D pattern window, uh, which are for curving. One of them is Edit Curve Point, that is shortcut is V, another one is edit curvature curvature and then smooth curve first i'm going to start with edit curve tool okay, let's say i'm going to have uh, another piece of fabric i don't know which Okay, let's use edit curve point. Since usually I don't call them by their name, I <laughs> when I'm going to explain them, I should read from this menu, edit curve point or V on the menu. Okay, how it works. It doesn't have a right click because when you right click the same uh, menu appears. So we, we have just uh, left click. You should left click on a segment. Unfortunately, we don't here we cannot decide um, the distance between left and right of the point. So, but you have the numbers here. So let's say we are going to be here. You can either uh, click and drag or you can click like here click and then drag other parts if you see uh, both parts of your point uh, move but there's another thing that's why i don't use this tool a lot because it uh, makes it makes curve on both sides of my a seg uh, of my point on the same segment that's why i usually press x uh, it's another tool that i'm going to explain it later in another uh, tutorial we are going to uh, today we are going to uh, learn on smooth curve the next session is going to be at curve so i press x and add a point then i press the next tool c I press C and look, uh, it just make curve in one side of my point and it doesn't affect others, other, uh, the, the rest of the segment. So this is one of the reasons I don't use much this edit curve point and I usually use uh, the combination of uh, add point and edit curvature. So, um, so we now we understood that edit curve point is uh, affecting all the lines, all the points, and one of it's another difference. And another difference between um, let me say, edit curve point and add point is that when I if I click millions of times. When I go to the edit mode, you don't see anything here. Yeah, it's like uh, it's invisible. But uh, look at this. Look at this point. If I press Z for edit pattern, that chooses also the points. The the one that I put here, the point that I put here with my add point, it remained. So, I usually prefer to first add point and then select edit curvature. So, uh, now edit curvature, which it's shortcut, it's C, it's simple. You just uh, drag, click and drag. The only problem is this thing that you are seeing, it's not that much 
clean sometimes. But for uh, small portions, it's good. I usually use this. But for a large but for large portions, uh, I don't know. It, right now, I'm satisfied with what I'm seeing. But sometimes it's like that. Then while you're dragging, here you cannot do this right click, but an edit curve point. You can, if you, while you are dragging, you right click and then you can tell the distance that you are going to move your line. Okay, now I'm going to explain the smooth curve. Uh, no. Yes, it's just a smooth curl, which doesn't have any shortcut, unfortunately, but I use it a lot and I like it a lot. For example, I'm going to make a pocket. Oh my god, the worst, the worst color that I could choose. Um, no, okay, blue, I think it's great. Okay, let's say I'm going to uh, make a pocket on the chest and I want this uh, uh, bottom corners to be curved. So what should I do? I have one smooth curve tool, one tool, but two options. One is that, okay, you can say from here to here something that is not that much accurate then here look what it's written select the site that will be replaced with the reference line for example you want this part and not this part look when you make this line you select the two parts of the part that you want, the corner that you are going to curve it, uh, you drag it, then this thing appears that you should choose from one of the sides of this line that you made. So if you want this part, you should select this part. So. Now I select this, so because this one is going to be replaced by our line. So I select it and now I drag my line and then I... Ta-da! Ta-da! And that's it. Or for being more accurate, you can... Okay, I'm, I wasn't going to explain my... Um, at point two, but for example, if I add this point, now I select my smooth curve. I can select with them, select this, and drag them. Another tada! Another function of smooth curve is um, that you can right click on just points. You right click on a point and this pop-up box appears that is called round corner by length. Here you can say the distance that you want from every side of this point. Like for example, here I want three centimeter toward up and here like six, uh, seven centimeter right but sometimes you want them to go e uh, equally you like it 
this is an option that I use it a lot. Here I don't touch it because it's something like this. I don't know if you need it. I usually don't customize my settings. So that's what I prefer to just say I want I want three centimeter here, another three centimeter here, and it's a clean, it's a clean thing, really. And then clone as pattern. Let's choose another fabric for it. superimpose over and that's it so yeah and that's it so if you like this video uh, like and subscribe and let me know in the comment section and have a nice day bye